Let's go ahead and drag that out of here so you know you can't even see. Okay, well, what piece that broke off? Nothing broke off. It's completely fine. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is The Wolf Praise, and welcome back to another episode of Insane Siege Creations. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations that I have found on the Steam Workshop. And to start off with, this creation's name is called Wheelie from Transformers 2. Now, I believe in this form, this creation is an RC car at the moment. And uh, yeah, it is supposed to transform. But first, let's go ahead and get a nice little picture all around him here. You guys know how it is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty unique looking, you know, it looks a little bit weird, honestly. But yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. Okay, and to drive this thing, it's just the arrow key, so let's go and do this a little bit. Okay, this is the front end here, I wasn't exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, here we go, it's it's not too fast. This isn't 100% speed, just so you guys do know. And uh, no invincibility mode either. Oh crap, I didn't mean, no, 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 sheep, no. Okay, I don't want to hit you. Okay, you, no, just, no, leave me alone. Okay, I think we can just run away from here. Okay, yeah, I just don't want to hit the sheep, you guys know how it is. Let's go ahead and just run into the bomb and uh, see how this thing blows up. There we go. And uh, okay, that was pretty satisfying. But of course, this thing being a transformer you guys want to see how it transforms right you know that that's probably why you guys came here the controls to transform him are q and e so let's go and do this here i think one is to like transform into the robot and one is to transform back so we'll just do q and i'll uh, see how this says okay yep there we go and uh, this also is not an invincibility mode either like i still haven't turned it on and uh, okay it didn't even break nice okay i'm trying to like figure out which side is like the front and uh yeah this side kind of looks like a face because it kind of looks like there's like eyes up here you know this kind of look like eyes but also on this side it looks you know kind of like a thing too yeah, I don't really know. Okay, there is a way to walk this guy, so I'm sure this will probably help us out figuring out, you know, which sides of the front and whatnot. So this is one and two to walk, so here we go. This is a little bit of one. Okay, uh, num, num lock. Don't forget your num lock, kids. Oh, I was just using the wrong numbers. Okay, it should be this. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, now it's walking. There we go. And oh, yeah, I guess this is the face here. Yeah, it definitely looks like the face there. Okay, here we go. And uh, yeah, it actually walks along quite nicely, as you guys see. You just have to alternate between one and two. And uh, with the little grabbers there, it just grabs onto the... Oh, okay, yep, he, he kind of lost his footing. Okay, there we go, buddy. Just, you know, calm down. Okay, you're fine. We can also turn by using four and five. So let's go and do this here so we don't, you know, just walk into that bomb there. Okay, I think we have to, like, let up on our foot... Uh, uh, let up on our feet when we do that. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to control here. But we can figure this out, though. Okay, whoa, oh, okay, no, okay. Uh, yep, this isn't good. Okay, you just keep doing this, buddy. Okay, you're good. Okay, I think you're... Okay, I think you're fine now. Okay, just, just calm down. All right. Okay, and the next control is Z to vacuum your enemies. So let's go and make our way over to the night Village. you know that sounds like a pretty good idea here we go okay we actually fell over this is a good chance to check out the way to get this guy up you can press q and up at the same time uh, so let's go and do this here q and up here we go okay yeah that's how you stand it back up so if he does fall over you can just stand it back up he's good to go and uh yeah great okay it was a little bit difficult to turn that guy so i just went ahead and transformed back into the car and now we can transform back into the dude here and I'll just go ahead and wait for these guys to walk over nice and close to us. Oh crap, okay, we fell over. Let's go ahead and stand back up. Okay, now we're backwards. Okay, this is uh, this is not ideal. Okay, let's go ahead and just turn on the vacuum block and see what happens. Oh gosh, okay, let's go ahead and just stand back up. Okay, we're fine. Okay, what, what just happened there? Okay, they kind of get like weird. Yeah, they get like sucked up into the side of us. And uh, I guess they hit something and die. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to walk a little bit so that guy doesn't hit us. Here we go. We can run away from him. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the chase scene of a sentry here. Yeah, this thing's definitely really cool. And it actually walks pretty well considering most Transformers usually don't walk that well. Uh, but yeah, this guy actually walks pretty well. You know, he can actually go pretty fast as well if you just alternate them right. And uh, yeah, it actually works pretty well. You guys should definitely check it out for yourself down below in the description as well as all the other creations from today's episode. But let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. Okay, and this creation's name is called the Charging Spider. And I just realized this was actually a creation made by the Censored Studios. And uh, you guys should definitely check him out. I will leave a link to his channel down below as well. Just, you know, as a little bit of a shout out to him because he is really cool. Of course, to start off with, let's go ahead and get a nice picture all around this thing. And uh, yeah, something is actually down there on the ground. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of rocking back and forth. But you know, don't worry about that. That's fine. Uh, this thing is definitely very spider looking. You know, it looks really cool. I kind of like the little drill bit arms down here, or the hands, or whatever you would call these. Uh, it's definitely just a nice little touch. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just very cool all around. Okay, to start walking this thing, it is the arrow keys to move. So let's just go ahead and walk here. Whoa, okay, this is, uh, oh, whoa, this is very bouncy. Okay, it's actually very spider-like. I like this. This is really cool. It's also not in invincibility mode, so it's actually pretty surprising that it hasn't broken or anything. Uh, but yeah, it's just pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out some of the weapons on this thing, because yeah, this is a weaponized spider, because, you know, why not? Okay, the first weapon is C for the cannon, so let's go ahead and just shoot that off and see how that goes. There we go. Okay, I thought we were going to hit a house. That was definitely pretty close, but you know, whatever. All right, one and two for the rockets. I think one of the rockets fell off over there, and that was what that was, but you know, don't worry about it. Let's just go ahead and shoot that off. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, that was definitely a rocket over there, and uh, yeah, it just started flying randomly. Uh, you know, that was cool though. Alright, three is enchanted arrows. It says enchanted with, you know, like little quotations on it, so I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, let's go and just shoot those off. 
Okay, those are arrows. Nice. Okay, and then Y for a flamethrower. Let's go ahead and just turn ourselves over here so we can actually hit a house. There we go. Okay, this thing's a little bit creepy when it moves, honestly. It gives me a little bit of the shivers. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and just use a flamethrower there. There we go. Okay, yeah, it definitely works as well. I hate when it's just an aesthetic flamethrower. Oh, yeah, but yeah, this one actually works. So that's great. Okay, then it is Q and E for the atomic bite. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, I don't know how... Oh, okay, whoa. Uh, I guess that is a gun, like a cannon on the front. All right. Okay, I'm wondering if this thing will actually be able to make it up any kind of hill. So let's go ahead and just make our way over here. Okay, that is actually a little bit of a trouble to actually just get over that little crack in the ground there. But, you know, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and just try to go up here. Okay, here we go. Uh, it... it it wants to. I can tell it wants to, but I, I just don't think it's gonna. But okay, while we're over here, let's go ahead and just ruin the night's days because, you know, we might as well. Here we go. And then go ahead and shoot off those rockets as well. There we go. Get wrecked, dudes. And uh, okay, let's go ahead and just get nice and close. We can use the atomic bite and the flamethrower there. There we go. Just flame those guys up. Okay, that, that, okay, it's too high. Okay, let's try to get back. Okay, here we go. Just use this. Here we go. Just like that. There we go. Get wrecked, dudes. Yeah, again, this thing is very cool. And if you guys want to check it out for yourself, I will leave a link down below. As well as right below, I will leave a link to the Sensor Studios channel so you guys can go over and check him out. He does like live streams of Spore and Besiege, and yeah, it's just very cool. And I actually watched one of his streams for like quite a while the other day, and uh, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. So yeah, definitely go check him out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. Okay, and this creation's name is called Sheepotron 5000. I guess this is the creation for, you know, all the sheep that I have killed in this game unintentionally. You know, it, they just get, you know, they get fed up with it and they come up with weird things like this. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get a nice little picture all around it here. Uh, it's some kind of like, you know, weird body. I don't know if there's like explosives in there. I kind of feel like there is, but okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, the starting controls for this guy are to alternate left and right to walk. So let's go and do this here. Here we go. Okay, and this is in about 80% speed, just so you guys know. So yeah, it's it's pretty fast. You know, it's not that bad considering how big it is and uh, that it's a sheep, you know. Alright, but yeah, it definitely walks there and you can use up and down to turn. So you can just turn like this and uh, as you guys see, there's like little wheels down here. And uh, yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier to turn. So that's pretty neat. Okay, then it is Y to extend the crossbow. So let's go and do this here. There we go. Okay, and I guess the crossbow just pops up right out of the back of there. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't think we're aiming up for anything. Well, let's go ahead and try to shoot this anyway. Okay, it is X. Okay, no, X is for the camera. And I, I actually don't see the button to shoot the crossbow. Okay, I'm assuming it's just like C or something. Okay, yeah, it's just C. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out the camera first. Okay, here we go. That's like a little aiming camera. And you can use the T, F, G, and H keys to move this around. So you can aim that up pretty nicely. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just shoot this off and see if we can actually hit anything. Uh, it's not actually going to destroy a house, but you know, it would make me feel better. So... Okay, I didn't think we had anything. Okay, I think the only thing we'd actually be able to kill is like a knight or something over here. So let's go and try to shoot these guys and see if we can actually hit one. It's a little bit far away, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to aim this up. Here we go. Okay, it's just a little bit of tweaking, you know, a little bit of tap. Okay, it's so close. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. We actually hit one. Okay, it didn't kill him. He's kind of just hopping around now. Oh, yeah, we actually hit one over there. Holy crap. I didn't expect that. Okay, let's go ahead and try to hit another one just because we can and uh, because it was funny. There we go. Okay, yeah, we actually hit him again and he destroyed his house. Nice. Okay, I'm sorry I kind of got sidetracked there. Let's go ahead and go back to this thing. And uh, yeah, I think that are those are all the controls anyway. Uh, so I guess we could just do that again because that was pretty fun. Okay, I went ahead and got a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit better. So let's go ahead and go back to the camera here and I just aim this back up. Okay, it's a little bit weird. Okay, it's like inverted as well, so it's a little bit difficult. Okay, here we go. And okay, yep, that should be good. Okay, we just have to aim this down a little bit. Oh, come on, that was so close. Okay, this one's really close to hitting this guy here. I think just a little bit up. Okay, just a little bit down. It's just like really hard to like get the really fine movements though. Okay, crap, oh, there we go. Okay, that should be good right there. Okay, yes, we actually hit him. Let's go and do it again and see if we can hit him again. Come on, buddy. You're gonna get wrecked eventually. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think he moved just a little bit. We had to pull it back just a little, there we go. And uh, see if that hits. Oh, come on, it's so close. <laughs> okay, yeah, we actually hit him again. Holy crap. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, this is so much fun. I'm sorry I just get so sidetracked with these things. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't expect that to work. So yeah, it was pretty nice. Yeah, it's definitely nice to see that the sheep can actually fight back now. You know, it has two giant drill bits as well as a crossbow that sticks up out of his back. And uh, yeah, he should definitely be pretty good to defend himself from all the other people that are going to try to kill him in this game. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going with that. But, all right, but let's go ahead and move on to the last creation of today's episode. Okay, and for the last creation of today's episode, this creation's name is called Skywarp from Transformers Prime. And I just realized while pulling up the controls to check this out that this one is also created by Sensor Studios. So shout out to him again. Again. Okay, let's go ahead and start off by walking this guy a little bit. It is Z and X to walk him, so here we go. Just like this. Okay, and you just alternate between them, and he just kind of walks along like that. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a derpy walk style, but you know, it makes me smile, so that's great. And it also hasn't fallen over either. Even though we went over those hills there, we haven't fallen over, so yeah, it's pretty stable. Oh crap, I just realized the knights are starting to chase me, so let's go ahead and try to walk away from these guys. Here we go. And uh, okay, we're kind of running here, and it's a little bit, you know, weird. He's kind of just shaking his hips. Okay, and yeah, I think they're going to come over and just start attacking me. 
Oh, come on, dudes. Really? Why, why can't you just leave me alone? Okay, I went ahead and reset this guy, but let's go ahead and try to transform because I think that's how we fly. So let's go and do this here. Just like that. It is G to transform, by the way. It is usually G and E to transform. Okay, yeah, it turned into a plane type thing. Okay, I like plane type things. Okay, it is F to toggle fly mode and then it is G, Y, and J to control it. Okay, let me just go ahead and try to make sure we're all figured out here. Okay, toggle fly mode. Okay, yep, it starts going forward on its own. Okay, I just shot off on accident. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, how do I pull up? Okay, pull up like that. Okay, I'm just a little bit scared. Okay, we're good. We're, we're fine. Okay, it's actually not that bad, but I don't think I can actually aim down unless we turn off the fly mode. Okay, yeah, that's probably how we aim down. And we can, you know, just toggle that back on and keep flying away. Okay, this thing's definitely pretty cool. And yeah, it is H for the gun. So yeah, that was what I hit there and I didn't mean to hit. So yeah, we can just shoot that off like a gun. And uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. And of course, with the flying creation, we have to go over and mess with the statues over here. So let's go ahead and just make our way over here. Go ahead and toggle off those engines. I think that's what we're supposed to do anyway. I don't really see any, uh, you know, controls to aim downwards. So, you know, this seems logical. This thing actually floats like really slowly as well. You guys see this? Like it's very majestic. It's not, you know, falling straight down or anything. It's, you know, it's nice and slow. Oh, but yeah, let's go ahead and turn that back on and make our way over to the statues over here. Okay, and you guys see that like weird little like dot up there? Like I I'll go ahead and zoom in on that for a second. But yeah, okay, we're here. Let's go ahead and just hit these uh, statues real quick. There we go. Just like that. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, but yeah, I don't know what that dot is up there. Okay, something just broke. Okay, that's not very good. All right, let's go ahead and check out the cameras that are in this mode. It is one and two, so this is one. Okay, that's a nice little, you know, camera there. Okay, I like the way that it aims. Okay, that's really weird. Nice. Okay, and this is two. Okay, I, I don't really know where this is supposed to be. I, I can't really tell, but you know, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and transform back into the actual robot form. There we go. Okay, something broke off down there. I'm not sure what that was. I think it's just some kind of like side panel piece. I uh, see. So, you no, know, don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and drag that out of here. So you know, you can't even see. Okay, well, what piece that broke off? Nothing broke off. It's completely fine. <laughs> okay, yes, I know I'm pretty crazy, but you know, just stick with me because H to shoot this guy also makes him ascend like Jesus in the robot form. I, I guess. Let's go ahead and do this here. Okay. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you just like shoot like that, and you can go all the way up into the air. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and transform in the air just because we can. Here we go and go into the flying mode, and there we go, we're off and away. This thing is so cool, all right, I love it. Yeah, this thing's definitely pretty fun, considering it actually works very well in both the forms, it walks very well, and it flies very well, and uh, you know, usually it's hard to get transforms that work very well in both forms, and uh, yeah, this one actually pulls it off, so great job. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack, because we're pretty dang cool around here, if you guys ask me, and also leave a comment of what your favorite build was from today's episode, and uh, yeah, that would just be really cool. But yeah, other than that, this creation is very cool, and if you guys want to check out any of these things, you can check them out down below in the description. But also, make sure to check out the Sensor Studios channel. I will leave a link down below. It will be, like, the first one in the link of creations down there, just because he did have two in this episode. Uh, but yeah, definitely go check him out if you guys want some more Besiege and Spore content. And uh, yeah, he's just a cool dude, and he has some good videos, so go check him out. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, and stay awesome, guys.